family, welcome back to Black Star TV 2.0. Your boy is back. They had me on lockdown with this uh this so-called medical misinformation. They put a strike on my channel, so I wasn't able to upload for about um I think it was like seven to ten days. But we back now. Thank y'all for supporting. Thank y'all for being here to watch um some of this content. Hey yo, so listen, um I want to get into this medical misinformation propaganda because that's exactly what they uh, shot, um, um, struck my channel for. They actually gave me a warning the first time when I put up Rizza Islam and the second time I put it up and uh, they gave me a strike. They still say it's pending, but um, I don't think they're going to do it. Because I, I wanted to, I asked them and said, because uh, you allowed the type and type of response to them or whatever. And I was like, yo, show me exactly in a video what you saying is the medical misinformation because they was really just talking about how the um jabs are uh or the crack scenes was uh how the people like Fauci and them were saying that they were wrong. You get what I'm saying? Well they didn't really say Fauci and them didn't exactly say they was wrong, but they were showing how they were wrong. And um they gave me a medical misinformation strike. So um I want to get into that and also Twitter got some new rules about um, voting misinformation and I want to get into that also. So I'm going to share my screen with y'all and we're going to get into this. Uh, here we go. So let's get into this Twitter thing. So Twitter rolls out um election misinformation rules ahead of midterms so again i feel like they keep doing all this misinformation and i feel like it's some propaganda with this stuff to control the um new black media because we are resonating with the people as far as um this election goes and we're getting people not to vote and now twitter along with um YouTube is like the same way. They're not they're not actually doing it with um with the med with the election information, but they definitely doing it with the medical uh misinformation, which I'm gonna show y'all in a second. Um but yeah, so it says Twitter uh reintroduced its rules uh governing the election misinformation and social media sites prepare for years midterm. The company said Thursday, San Francisco big tech giant said it will apply its civic integrity policy to the November 8th midterm elections in which all 435 seats of the U.S. representatives, as well as the third, um, as a third of the Senate will be up for grabs. Um, the state goal of the policy, which uh, was introduced in 2018, is an evaluate incredible information, uh, credible information and will keep you safe on Twitter. That's some BS. Like, how's that going to keep us safe? And what are y'all deeming to be misinformation? And I truly believe this is going like this because Black people are telling people not to vote. And I'm about to show you a video, which um, which is going to say, see, oh, see right here, down here. Let me, get, let, me, let me get down here real quick. It says, social media sites, including Twitter, Facebook, and others, came under fire during the 2006 16 presidential campaign for not cracking down on misleading uh claims but see they're just doing that because the black grassroots are telling black people not to vote if we ain't getting no tangibles for our vote then we are not voting so let me um let me show you what's going on right now and this is actually uh our our um our girl uh Vicki Dillard, and she said that Simone Sanders said that it's BS not to vote if, if politicians ignore us, right? And again, now we're going to have to, um, you know, change up the language with even the whole voting thing now. Because at first with the crack scenes or the jab, like we're not even allowed to say that word or the algorithm is going to show up and they're going to hit you with medical misinformation. Matter of fact, before I even show that, right, watch this. So let me go to my uh, studio thing real quick. See, they had gave me a strike and they were saying my video with um, uh, Riza Islam and Christina Parks exposing, you know, 
the uh, CV. Um, and it's crazy because like they never said anything crazy. So it's just like they they already had blocked Rizzo Islam for um thank for all the new uh, subscribers too. Um they had already blocked Rizzo Islam um page they had dropped it, all his pages down and um so he did a um a Twitter a Twitter space with uh Christina Parks who's a um secular and molecular biologist and um so she has the uh credentials to um you know defend her position on on what she uh deems that they had misinformation the other side that's Fauci and them so yeah they just blocked they um gave me a strike and uh yeah they they, they blocked me for like a couple of days but I'm I'm a, um this is one of the reasons why the, the context of it was basically when you can't I'm sorry but this is the whole reason why the uh now they're coming with the voting um, and talking about the misinformation for the voting because we, the black grassroots, are on their behinds about not voting. So let me let y'all listen to what Simone Sanders said. Get your way with a politician or just because a politician uh, 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 basically doesn't respect your voice or ignores you, that doesn't mean you don't vote for them. In that, child, listen. Listen to these a few seconds and I can get them. Watch this. I tried my best, y'all. Try my best. Now let me get this. Okay, y'all, listen, listen. Let me hear him turn this around. This is as loud as I can get it, family. So turn your volumes up real loud. Because they haven't spoken to you, but so you don't like politicians because they haven't spoken to you but withhold your vote to hold people accountable that's just a bunch of idiots y'all it does not work like that And that's crazy because um she's saying to not withhold your vote isn't a good idea but it actually is especially when you're not getting it how you going to literally say um just because they're not doing anything for you that's the whole point you're not doing anything so what even what's what's the point of voting what's the point of voting you just want us to vote so those people can stay in power and they can still do the things that they they want to do and help whoever they want while ignoring us and that's that's not cool like what is the point of voting talking about it's bs not to vote if a politician ignores us what so i'm supposed to so i'm supposed to vote for you while you sit here and ignore me and i'm the person who got you in office but i'm supposed to sit here and let you help other people while i'm the one who voted for you that's not how voting works that's not how voting works. You're supposed to. Matter of fact, I got a, a clip for y'all, but I'm I'm gonna show you this one. This one to Dr. Carl Anderson. You must build a five-story building. Once you get a community, that's your platform. That's your baseline. It's because you got turf and territories, like building a house. Now you got something situated on. You can't build a house with nothing. You gotta have has to be structured on something. And once you've got that foundation, that community. Now, the first thing you work on is economics. You started practicing group economics in a vertical order. Practicing group economics, making your money bounce in your own community eight to 12 times before it leaves. Spend your money with your own people first. Buy from your own people first. So you get an economy going in your community. Buying your own people's products, services, and goods, like you do in Chinatown, any other town, Mexican town. And once you get that economy going, then once you, then you get the profits coming, resources the money coming in from your, from your economy then you go to the second floor the second floor is politics our people got that backwards they want to get into politics before they get in the economy backwards as hell they won't make it in the government to the, what the politics is the second floor i learned that before i ran campaigns when i was in office with two presidents okay it won't work you build you get politics at the second floor and don't worry about voting 
Voting is immaterial. Voting is a game. Voting is immaterial. Voting is a game. And he did, he just said, he ran with two presidents, President Carter, President um, Bill Clinton. So voting is a game. This is why I'm trying to say, sit, when she says this, when she says it's BS, that's why I'm trying to tell y'all. That's what I'm saying. It does work like that because they've been ignoring us, and that is the whole one. That's what voting doesn't doesn't do anything. But again, this is why Twitter is making its um. This is why Twitter is you know making this new rules for the misinformation, and they're going to try to deem anything misinformation so they can block the grassroots from showing that these people be on BS. And I just want to go to Twitter to my brother Rizzer Islam real quick. How he said. Anyone attempting to convince me and my people to trust my enemy is an enemy. That's absolute fact. Let me like that real quick. But um, yeah, see, Riz has been on their behind, and um, I mean, I'm I'm kind of scared to play some of his stuff. Hold on, let me let me. Get that. those is into a garbage because nobody. It's sad to say, I'm in the process of throwing 30 million doses into a garbage because nobody wants them. 30 million doses. Uh, we have a big demand problem. We right now have. Uh, governments, we try to contact not only SEF, who is doing a great work with his team, trying to get demand into the countries, but also we contacted through the Washington's in, 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 the embassies in Washington, every country, and nobody wants to take them. Well, let me start off by saying we did tell everyone from the very beginning that this is exactly what's going to happen. Are you throwing them out because you found out that these shots were causing heart swelling, myocarditis, and pericarditis, and you knew about this all the way back in the trials? Which, by the way, resulted in hundreds, if not more, athletes passing out randomly on the field, on the court, etc., from random heart attacks to where they died over and over again. Are you throwing them away because you're now trying to take away the sting of liability, which is why you're changing the name as of June of this year from the CVID to Spike Vax, which is pretty much Vax with spike protein in it? Is this, is this why you're doing this? Are you doing this because people found out that they can't sue you, including the government officials and their nations cannot sue you as a result of your shots harming them as a result of the PrEP Act? Is this why you're doing this? This, by the way, is the epitome of criminal. If your shots harm me, I can't sue you? Damn! The Public Readiness and Emergency Preparedness Act protects them from being sued. So people were attacked for not taking it, fired for not taking it, had their children taken away from them for not taking it, were kicked out of school for not taking it, kicked out of the military for not taking it, kicked out of their own companies for not taking it. Now our entire network was removed from the internet just for encouraging people to make their own decisions, which included not taking it. All of this just to have our tax dollars go towards paying for hundreds of millions of doses of something that you were just going to throw away. Yeah, I don't think I speak for us all when I say we don't believe any one of you CEOs took your own product. No, we do not believe any one of you took your own shot because you know exactly what the hell is in it. But we notice how you still want to send these shots over to Africa because the human experimentation move continues to move on clearly. All of y'all need to go to jail from Fauci all the way down for crimes against humanity, period. See what I'm saying? And that's the funny thing about it is that y'all want to deem all this stuff as misinformation when uh you know people be having facts on you which is which is crazy and I, and I just feel like that's that's criminal all in itself to just even try to make it seem as though um everything everybody says is medical misinformation that's an oh my god that's another thing I wanted to show you all hold on see because this is what they be trying to do with all this stuff hold on Early data shows racial disparities in monkeypox cases. So they're trying to say that um, the data is showing that um, monkeypox is more likely to. Uh, I didn't want to really that one. They're saying that monkey, this one right here, monkeypox is disproportionately affecting black, Hispanic people. Latest CDC breakdown shows. So again, they're trying to say that just like this, the same thing they were saying about. Um, 
the spike backs, right? That's what they call them now, the spike backs. So this is what they call them, the crack scene. They try to say uh, it, it more affects um, black and Hispanic people. So they want us to take it first again. And then we've come to find out later that it really doesn't work or it really doesn't even help you. So what's even the point? But this is why they're doing all this, man. See, we own them. And when we putting this information out there, they want to block everybody. They want to strike your channel like they did mine. They want to take your channel like they did Rizza Islam. They took Rizza's channel um, nine times. This is his ninth channel. So they took it eight times. But this is his ninth channel. So, again, they don't they don't block people for lying. There's so much lying on the Internet or on, on these uh, social media platforms. If you were trying to block people that lied, it would be so much blocking going on. You're blocking people that are actually telling the truth, and that's what the real issue is. So, um, yeah, that's my thing. Uh, again, I wanted to show y'all something else on my um, on my other page. Let me see if I can get to it real quick. Bear with me one second. I gotta, I gotta get on. I gotta get on Facebook. Stockholm Syndrome, some of us are dealing with our cognitive dissonance, where we are now having to realize that we've been lied to. Now, we were saying this before. As a matter of fact, I believe every single one of our leaders in multiple areas, multiple ways, different times, different dispensation of time, every generation, every 20 to 30 years, we've been warned about something else that this enemy was doing every single solitary time. You had those who believed him, you had those who did not believe him. They have those in between who just didn't know what to do. At this point, I don't think anything else needs to be done, brother, in order for us to understand that this system has not and will never change. This is not the system that is your friend. This has nothing to do with, oh, we want to sincerely help you now in this generation, although we hate your father and your mama, we hate your grandfather and we hate your grandmother, we hate your great-great-grandfather and your great-great-grandmother, your parents and all of those people around you at that time, but now we love you in this generation. We're going to change for you all of a sudden. See, I, I'm, I'm not interested. I don't trust the system. I never have, never will. I'm going to educate my children on not trusting the system and to right. build their own. And God willing, we will build that system so that they can inherit it and not inherit this. That's not really what I wanted to show you. But since I since I was on that, I wanted to I wanted to play the brother real quick. But I also I want to play um a clip I had of Dr. Claude Anderson that I have put up. Hold on. See if I can find it real two seconds now. Oh, let, let me show you this right here. So this right here says, um, those who took the the shot have a higher connection with monkeypox than they know. Taking these shots caused um anti-genetic uh escape or immuno escape and many to where mutated viruses could emerge. Scientists all over the world have been saying this. So this is Rizzo. And he be on he be on a behind with this info with the with that information. Man, that, I, got, I took it right all the way back up to the top. All right, now I'm gonna go straight to uh um the video that I have posted. One second, one second. That boy's walking video was so funny to me. Hold on. I think is this it? This one is it right here. I'm sorry. Who would personally say very vocally that who they're going to represent once they get to office? Black people are the only people in America that will vote every election for somebody that's never promised them one damn thing. I, I ran campaign after campaign, and I would tell black folk, don't come here and tell me what, what, what you're not going to do. Tell me what you are going to do. Now, the first thing I would ask for politician. If they run for an election, who are you going to represent? What are you going to do for black people? What promise are you going to make? I tell them, come up on the stage and tell these black folk that if you don't promise them anything, then get off the stage and go back home and watch TV. That's quick coming out, you're running for office. And every black I see run for office, the first thing he would say in terms of code of ethics, code of ethics and a code of conduct. He said, if I run for office, my, my, what I guess what I want to do based on my code. I'm going to represent everybody. Now, and I say, why don't you buy your wife an office? Why don't you go home then? Nobody invites you here to give you a vote for representing everybody. When you go downtown and you get elected, 
That's all I wanted to show y'all with um with Facebook is that he said that about voting. So when you hear Simone Sanders and these other people say what they saying about the um we don't need to we need to vote regardless even if they're ignoring us like that doesn't make any sense. That does that doesn't make any sense whatsoever, and that's not a good um strategy to go into politically. Again, like Dr. Clark Anderson said. You need an economy first. You need an economy before you go into voting. Just like I always say, Bill Clinton's biggest donors was the CCA, Corporate Crisis of America, and they got him. Um, and I think they, I believe they gave him about fifty-two million dollars or whatever, like as a donation toward his campaign. And when he got in office, he passed the uh, Joe Biden wrote the crime bill, and. Um, and Bill Clinton passed it. And then this three strike law came, all this stuff came. Cause I'm actually writing something on that. Uh um I just started writing writing it like maybe like three, four days ago. And um, yeah, so again, that politics is about money. That's why he said get your economy right. Because you get your economy right, then you can buy the politicians. You can't buy them, then you rent them, right? So this is how politics work. And again, he's somebody who's been in politics. So, and this is again why MSNBC and CNN, Fox, all these people, they would never put Dr. Carl Anderson on the screen because they know, and this is the guy right here. They'll never put they'll never put him on the screen because they know um his rhetoric and how it will resonate with the people. And they know he's right. You can't say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, no, he ran campaigns. He ran on the highest to the lowest uh, level of government. He's been involved with the highest and lowest level of government. So, um, again, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's easy to say all that. And this is why they want to push this whole uh, misinformation propaganda, because you want to suppress the people who are actually telling the truth and you want to suppress it so that um black people stay exactly where they at at the bottom as a permanent underclass as dr claude anderson will say you want us to stay in that position so that's why you that's why you do that to us so um i'm gonna let y'all go i just wanted to make this video real quick because they because they have banded me for a couple of days i'm kind of busy because i've been doing a lot of things and uh, I actually got to uh, call my kids in a little bit. So um, this is what I'm going to say, man. Thank you all for uh, watching. Thank you all for uh, staying tuned to the channel. Thank you all for uh, subscribing. Thank you for the subscribers, man. I appreciate y'all support. Uh, I'm going to keep coming back to back to back with this content because they took me off for a couple of days. I, it's funny because I had actually did like two videos. I recorded two videos. And I went to put I'm like, why this one ain't posting? I went to my thing. I'm like, yo, they they hit me with a strike. I said, oh man. Then when I seen the video, they hit me. I already knew it was gonna be for uh, Rizzo because 
they try to block everything Rizzo say. He talking about them. He talking about them crack scenes. So um, yeah, and that's another reason why I personally ain't taking. I don't care what anybody else do. I'm not taking it. I'm not letting my family take it. Um, my kids take it. You know, um, my my oldest son. He he old enough to make his own decision. But I be telling him too. Listen, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Simple fact that you try to suppress people who have a difference of opinion from you and you try to make it seem like it's misinformation, like, no, we're not doing that. You only want to push people because it's not even misinformation because you're not even explaining what the misinformation is. It, all your the person is 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 putting up facts that go against what with the with the uh what the um, majority people are saying. And you try to make that uh, misinformation. So, again, this is misinformation propaganda to try to confuse the masses and to try to dumb us down and suppress the people who are actually telling the truth. This is why you need to watch the new black media and listen to what we are talking about so that you can get the truth. Um, Because that's what this is about. This is about the truth. Of course, we're not right on everything, but that's what fact checking is for. And you can do your own due diligence and your own research to get the truth out of what's being said so again thank y'all man appreciate y'all for being here and we'll be back tomorrow with another episode man thank you